Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Tarot Celebrity with your boy Ducky. Today we are going to be reading some cards for Kim Soo Hyun and Kim Ji Won. Um, <clears throat> so this is a, a uh, requested reading um, for these two who are working on a Queen of Tears. Or is that's the name of the program that they're working on? Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, we're just going to read some cards representing their connection. Um, remember to take these videos with a grain of salt and remember that they're for entertainment purposes. Uh, and why is that? That is because we do not have Kim Soo Hyun nor Kim Ji Won here to confirm nor deny that what I'm seeing in the cards and how I'm interpreting the cards is resonating with them or is not resonating with them so just remember to take these videos with a grain of salt and without further ado let's get started on their reading all right kim soo hyun and kim ji won's combined energy whenever they're together or they're talking with one another what is the combined energy like we got the page of bows the page of wands some very young sparks going on. Five of bows, five of wands. <clears throat> and the eight of arrows. Okay. <clears throat> so I feel like because everything seems to be kind of new, everything seems to be kind of fresh with their connection. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I just ate and I just... Uh, so it's really messing with my voice. Uh, so I'm sorry if I'm going to be clearing my throat a lot during this video. Um, <clears throat> so we got the page of wands here. The pages are always younger, livelier energies. And the suit of wands is indicative of fire. So there is a young, fiery spark here with their connection. Um, it is a little bit of a challenge here. I'm seeing with the five of bows, the five of wands here, norm representing challenges, but these are like good challenges. These are like challenges that help you level up and improve. So I feel like their combined energy here is that like <clears throat> things are still kind of fairly new between their connection and because things are still fairly new, uh, they're having difficulty um, maybe being a little bit more free, being a little bit more open and honest with one another with this eight of arrows coming up here. Uh, the eight of swords is always, you know, that constricting card of, of feeling like you're, um, <clears throat> you're trapped. Um, so there is a sense of feeling a little bit like entrapped. They're feeling a little bit shy. I, I feel like the entrapment here is that they are just still their connection is still so young. They're still getting to know each other. So that is a little bit of a challenge of being a little bit more open and honest and communicative with one another whenever that connection is still fairly fresh. Um, so that's what I'm seeing with their connection here. <clears throat> All right. So let's keep on going. Let's go with Kim Soo Hyun. When Kim Soo Hyun thinks of Kim Ji Won, what comes to his mind? What does he think? What does he feel when he thinks of Kim Ji Won? We got the green woman in reverse, the empress in reverse. Hmm. The seer. Oh. All right, Kim Ji Won, when she thinks of Kim Soo Hyun, what does she think? We got the world. Ooh, okay. And the woodward, uh, strength. Okay, wow. Pretty interesting. Okay. So let's start with Kim Soo Hyun. When Kim Soo Hyun thinks of Kim Ji Won, what does he think? What does he feel? He thinks that Kim Ji Won is very 
much in tune with herself. When he thinks of Kim Ji-won, he thinks of a strong, confident woman who <clears throat> trusts herself. She trusts her intuition. She has a lot of knowledge. So I feel like Kim Soo Hyun sees these attributes in Kim Ji-won. Now, <clears throat> with the Empress card coming up here in reverse, the Empress is all about being fruitful, being abundant, having a lot. But when it comes in reverse, there's there's a sense of inadequacy or not having enough of, of something. So <clears throat> I'm getting one of two things here with Kim Soo Hyun. When he thinks of Kim Ji Won, he thinks of someone who maybe always is looking for um, or maybe isn't always satisfied. Maybe she's always wanting more. Um so it could be that maybe she could be a little bit of a diva, like in, when it comes to working with people. Maybe she just knows who she is, who she is not, what she likes, what she doesn't like. And so maybe it comes across as a little bit too demanding um, or a little bit too much of a diva. Um, that's kind of what I'm seeing here. Maybe there's something going on here where maybe... Maybe Kim Soo Hyun thinks that Kim Ji Won, either she's never really fully satisfied with like scenes or with how she does things. Or maybe it just seems like she's not satisfied with like what other people do for her. And she's just like always wanting more or expecting more. Um, that's kind of what I'm seeing here. But on the plus side, Kim Soo Hyun know, like sees this also as like a, as proof that Kim Ji Won knows who she is, you know? If you like Dr. Pepper and you don't like Coca Cola and you tell people, get me Dr. Pepper, I don't like Coca Cola, and they're just barely meeting you, yeah, it might seem a little bit of like, oh, she's a little bit like controlling or she's a little bit like, oh, is Coca Cola not good enough, you know? Um, <clears throat> so that's kind of what I'm seeing here. Now, Kim Ji Won's thoughts on Kim Soo Hyun. She thinks that like anything Kim Soo Hyun works towards, he like finishes, he completes. Like he's very good at finishing what he starts and he's very strong. He's very strong willed, maybe um, has some strong opinions, physically strong as well. Um, but there is a sense here where there is a strength that Kim Ji Won sees in Kim Soo Hyun. She sees a strength with him, within him. She also sees that, like, he's able to be a strong partner for people. Like, you know, look at this little bobcat or whatever. You're next to this dude. Um, they're partners, you know, they're friends. And so I feel like Kim Ji Won sees that Kim Soo Hyun, whoever he works with, he's going to be there. He's going to be strong. He's going to be a strong pillar for them. And... Anything that he, like, works towards, he, like, makes sh makes sure he completes it and finalizes it. Um, so that's great. Woo! Okay. <clears throat> so let's finish off this beautiful video with some advice for these two. All right, let's get some advice. Kim Soo Hyun and Kim Ji Won. We got the Wanderer in reverse. And let's get an Herbal Healing Oracle card. With structure. Oh, yeah, this is a good advice. Okay, so these both very much go hand in hand. With the Wanderer, the Fool card coming up here in reverse being advising them to be careful not to take too many risks try not to um venture too far out without having a plan without having some form of structure so the advice i'm seeing here for kim soo hyun and kim ji won in regards to this new project that they're on is to remember to keep structure keep their structure um you know um and try not to venture out and do too many experimental things that are outside of the structure is what i'm seeing here um because there is there is already a sense of like a of challenges here between the two of them and there is a sense of feeling like constricted constricted feeling confined um so 
they're just advised to keep a structure, keep some kind of a plan going, like some kind of a blueprint of how they're going to do things and try not to venture too far out from this blueprint that they come up with, whether it's a blueprint to how they're going to like practice scenes together or how they are going to actually film the scenes together. Um, but yeah, they, there needs to be some structure here between their connection. Um, and for some of you that always want to know, like, oh, is there a romantic connection between these two? Um, Y'all know I don't like to go into these questions that much, um, but I'll pick a card. Let's see. I'll get I'll draw one card from the top of the deck and one from the bottom and see how it goes. What's the likelihood of there being a romantic connection between these two? We got the mirror in reverse, which I believe is the hanged man in reverse with the five of cups in reverse. Card number 12, I think that is the hanged man. Yeah, hanged man in reverse. Okay, so I feel like, uh, is there some romantic connection or is there, are there capabilities of their ro being romantic connections here. I don't really see that with the hanged man here in reverse um, because the hanged man in reverse is about like wanting to like hold on to things and not letting things go and flow and do what they need to do. Um, so I think the connection here between the two of them is a little bit constricted, right? Uh, again, with this eight of it, arrows or the eight of swords and again with this hanged man coming up in reverse talking about there's an inability to just like let go and have fun and let you know whatever needs to happen happen um but also with the five of cups here in reverse there's a lot more positives than negatives here um but i don't really see like that there's a romantic connection or possibilities of there being romance here just because everything is so fresh just like how i mentioned in the beginning and just like how there's that like constricted feeling that of being confined um yeah i'm not really seeing it here but remember change is constant energy is always changing um remember that these videos are again for entertainment purposes i'm just seeing with relaying with what i'm seeing in the cards um, and how I'm interpreting them. But yeah, I don't really see it here. I see here like there's a lot more pluses than minuses or a lot more positives than negatives in this connection. But I think it's more of like just like a friendly work um, project type of connection where they're just, you know, here to do what their work is, you know, uh, what they signed up for and that's it. Um, that's kind of what I'm seeing, but yeah, remember to, um, where was I going this? Oh yeah. Remember to, uh, feel free to hit that subscribe button. If you haven't subscribed, it sure is making me happier. The closer I'm getting to 1k subscribers. Woo. How fun. Um, remember to take care of yourselves mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, and sexually love and respect yourselves and others. And as always stay hydrated. Uh, let me know what y'all thought of this video. Feel free to let me know if I was completely wrong with anything that you've heard or know of these two or if anything that i've said resonates with like what you know of them um but yeah that's it for this video thank y'all again so much for watching and i hope to see y'all on the next video thanks see ya bye